nature. Existence, the physical universe, is something that is spontaneous. You've got to let go and let it happen. Welcome back to Done With Depression. This is the 100 sub video. So I just wanted to start off by thanking you guys for all the support that you've shown me. And today we're gonna do the new iPhone unboxing. I got the new iPhone SE right here and case for it as well. So we're gonna unbox that and we're gonna do a little behind the scenes um, kind of thing of how I make my videos and just talk about some of the equipment I use and things like that. So I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so we're gonna do the unboxing here. And basically what I wanted to talk about in this video is just how you don't need like super expensive stuff to make videos. You can make videos just pretty much with what you have. Um, this is definitely my biggest and most expensive upgrade um, to making videos right now a new phone because the phone is what I shoot all my videos on but like speaking of that you can just use whatever you have if you have a phone with a camera like just use that it doesn't specifically have to be the best thing out there so well, this is kind of cool how it's like sealed to that back part there So we're gonna pop that forward. And here it is. So before this, I had a iPhone 5 SE. All right, so we're gonna open this up and haven't actually done an unboxing before, so. Trying to look at the best way to open this without messing everything up here. So we're gonna pull on this flap. Just comes out nice like that. So the reason that I wanted to get this phone is because it's affordable. I think it's $399 compared to some of the new ones that are like upwards of a thousand dollars sometimes. And this one also has the home button. So I really like the home button. I think it's just easier to use. And here we go. So I did get the black model. My original iPhone 5 SE um, was the black model and it was my favorite phone all time so far. And then the 6S that I have um, is like pink. So it's definitely not my favorite, but we got the new headphones here, which should be nice. My other ones I just cleaned because I never realized how dirty they are until you clean them and you see how dirty they are and that's really disgusting. <laughs> so we got um, new earbuds here. I wonder if these get upgraded like with the phones, like are these the same earbuds from like 10 years ago? Or did they like actually upgrade the sound and quality as it goes on? All right, so we have the phone charger in here as well. And here it is. The physical universe is something that is spontaneous. All right, so I did find my old SE. So this is the iPhone 5 uh, SE. And this is the new second edition SE. So you can see the screen is bigger. It's about the same thickness though. And then this is the um, black model and it's all black. And this was the black one and you can see it has the silver and black, which is pretty cool. Both have the home button. This camera is significantly larger than that one. But yeah, this is the original SE and the new SE here. All right, so our second unboxing here is the Otter Box for it. I almost got the battery case, the extended battery case, but they didn't have it for this phone yet. 
and it was another $150 and with me recording and stuff I wasn't sure if the current um, setup that I have would be able to hold the camera with the backup battery case on it and so what I ended up getting was this OtterBox case here and it actually has a built-in pop socket which I thought was pretty cool um, I haven't really seen them like built in so far so you can see this is like one unit here and that pops out and you can do your thing but I haven't seen it fully integrated as one unit so I thought that was pretty cool I did get the black again uh, to match the phone and I think it's just a lot cleaner and we got some stuff here on how to install it and that's gonna be it for that unboxing so feels bad I just realized that this OtterBox case did not come with um, the screen protector and the last case that I got was the Defender case and it came with um, the front screen protector on it because I remember I had bought a separate one and then when I got the case it had it on there so little drawback of this one maybe is that it doesn't have the screen protector included in the case setup and I think the lower version does and this one's a little bit more expensive and it does not so possible drawback there but I'll let you guys know when I get it all put together All right, so back to just working with what you got. So I started out just making videos on my phone and that was the iPhone 5 SE and it was pretty old even at that time. And so I started making videos on that and they were single cut videos with <laughs> no edits, just straight up onto YouTube, uh, no other gear, anything like that. You guys can still see those videos if you wanna see them. Um, they're in the video section scroll all the way down obviously and you can see some of those videos but you don't have to have all of this extra gear and stuff to be able to do your videos I was using my iPad which is from I want to say 2013 2014 it won't even update past iOS 11 now so it's pretty old and I was using this to do some of my time lapses back in the day um, I would set it like on the bumper of my truck and record stuff that I was doing and I would try and do some of the editing on here so like you can just work with what you have before I got a little bit better uh, microphone I was just using my iPhone earbuds um, it has a microphone built in again it's not the best microphone but you just got to work with what you got so if you can't go out and buy all of this stuff it's better that you start producing the content and being a content creator because you're gonna learn as you go so each video that I've put out so far I've learned something new either about myself or about me making the videos or little tricks here when uploading and things like that so I upgraded from this mic here, which was just the iPhone mic to this little mic here that attaches to my shirt, but it's still wired. So I still have to connect it to the phone and I can't walk around very much with it, but it's just basic. I think it was under, uh, probably under $20, maybe under $10. And it's just a real easy microphone. And the light that I'm using here is just like a selfie light thing. It's for makeup actually. And let me turn it off so you can see it. But it's just on a little tripod and it has another camera mount here. So I do use that sometimes when I'm talking um, more close to the camera, but it's just a basic little tripod mount 
has a light and then it goes to USB. Um, this is under $30, I think on Amazon and you can get it at Target and stuff too. And then the tripod that it's currently shooting on right now is uh, just a basic metal tripod and it has a little clicker so you can um, take pictures from further away and things like that. But you don't even necessarily need that because you can use the timer on your phone and it's just not as difficult as it needs to be. Like you can make it a lot more difficult or you can just work your way up and work with what you have right now to produce the best that you can do right now without having to buy all the extra stuff. So this is the uh, editing app that I use. It's called Splice. And as you can see here, it doesn't even turn the correct landscape way on the iPad. So you can just go in here and I just do all my editing on here. It's super basic. You can get one for free um, and you can pay for it if you need to, but super basic. You just do your video edits here and you can crop it and stuff at the bottom here and it just play through. Obviously this isn't a video. It's just a picture that I was editing, which you can do in here as well but it has some basic animations that you need and you can do intros and outros on here. You can put music in behind whatever content you're using, but super basic. It's free on um, the app store. You can pay for the extended version if you want, but you don't have to. It's all about just using whatever basic stuff you can to make the best content that you can right now. And lastly, I just wanted to add, it doesn't really matter like what you want to do in life, but if you never give up, you're more than likely going to get whatever it is that you are aspiring to be. So it's kind of a stupid example, but I used to do shiny hunting in Pokemon. So essentially there's normal colored Pokemon and then there's a one in over 8,000 chance that you get a Pokemon that has a different color variation. So it's ultra rare and it takes forever to get. It's called full odds hunting. But essentially, while you're playing the game, you keep doing encounters over and over and over and over and over again until you get the different colored Pokemon. And the life lesson in all of this is that the only way that you don't end up getting the shiny Pokemon is if you give up. Like the odds can be stacked against you. You can go 30,000 encounters when the odds are really only one in 8,000 and still not get it. But the only way that you don't get it is if you give up. So that's kind of a life lesson that no matter what, if you just keep on pushing, keep on trying, you will get what you're looking for. All of these people that are like famous and stuff now, they didn't get there just because they accidentally fell into it. It's because they worked the long hours, they tried and they didn't give up. And that can be the same for mental health and just taking care of yourself. Like you have to put yourself first and do what's right for you and not give up on yourself. Because if you give up on yourself, then there's no reason for other people to really uh, believe in you. So believe in yourself, don't give up and just keep on pushing, keep on keeping on. Thank you guys for 100 subs, and I'll see you guys next time on Done with Depression. That is to say, it doesn't have some destiny.